EA Sports PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the Mid-Season Classic. Always a pleasure to be along the coast of Maine, Lighthouse Point to be exact. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabilo from EA Sports. Frank, this is sure to be another exciting day of golf out there. What are the challenges facing our players today? The length of the golf course for a start, Rich, this golf course just under 7,700 yards. It's one of the longest ones you'll play. And of course the cliffs, that's why it's called this, they certainly are in play. There is one double green out there, that's the 10th and the 13th hole, they share the same green. Lots of great design features and you've got it on a prime day in great condition. So enjoy the round and make sure you feast on the vistas as well. Well, that was a beautiful drive, Frank. Really good position to take advantage. Uh, sitting up beautifully in the fairway. And he's set up for his second shot here, looking to knock it on the green. right off the center of the club face. This has a chance to be close. Oh, can't hide the flag stick from that man. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Needs a few more of those. That was a good birdie. Yeah, this time, that one gets him in the top 10. Let's go down now to hole number 13. Just a mediocre first round up to this point from our featured golfer. Frank, what are some keys to making something happen down the stretch? Well, if this score that they that's one of the keys, because this is a position to vault forward from. Boy, this one has a chance to be really good. Frank just continuing to make the game look easy. This just shortens the whole golf course up when you can hit it that far. Second shot. Frank, over the course of the last 15 years or so, there have been a number of initiatives within the game of golf just to try to grow the sport. Yeah, we've seen the PGA Junior League, which is a series of competitions, obviously, for juniors to play. But the first tee really is worldwide now, just to try and introduce some players from all over the world into the game of golf. They're introduced with club professionals. They learn skills that are essential, really, to play the game of golf. But uh, in 2014 was a real step, what I think, in the right direction. To, to showcase the junior talent around the world with the drive, chip and putt, where you actually get a chance to play the drive, chip and putt final at Augusta National, the home of the Masters. Imagine young kids, boys and girls, eight years old, 11 years old, being able to go home and tell their friends, tell their families, hey, I have something in common with Jack Nicklaus, with Arnold Palmer, with Phil Mickelson, with Tiger Woods. I won. 
at Augusta National Golf Club. Good swing, good shot yet again. You can't hide the flagstick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable that that never deviated offline. Settles in over. You can see why this player has been compared to a young Rory McIlroy, featured golfer making birdie and now sitting comfortably inside that cut line. 15th hole and Frank a return to sanity. 387 yards, par four. Yeah, second easiest hole on the golf course. Uh, bends a little to the left. Just avoid the sand left and that little pot bunker on the right. And you should uh, be set up with a relatively short iron and to a, a green that you know, the only problem is if you go long. Wow, that is a monster drive down there, about 300. 15 yards. Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another. So through one round, Frank, our leader really put on a good show today. They certainly did, Rich. It was truly a great performance, especially from tee to green. It's not easy to come out of the gates like that. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the Mid-Season Classic. All set to go, we take you to the first hole. Stepping up to the first tee, sight set on posting another low number here in round two. Great strike and a great result. Setting up, good chance to attack the flag. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Guarantee there after that shot. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Yeah. 
Given the situation, Rich, things so tight at the top. Very, very good birdie. That was huge right there. Still with a great chance to come away with this title. Strong winds continue to be a factor. Frank, I know you've played all over the world. How much did you enjoy the challenge of playing into a stiff breeze? Well, it was a chance to separate yourself from the rest of the field, Rich. Um, just like these conditions we're seeing right now, um, you've really got to be smart. Pick the right shot. If you get too aggressive on a day like today, um, you'll pay a far more severe price than normal. Club selection obviously is crucial. Oh, it's imperative today. Take an extra club or two, choke down. Very much so. That drops for another birdie. Two in a row to start the round. Now the third hole here at Lighthouse Point, par five, 566 yards. loading up on it. Look at the coil there. Rich, that is annihilation of a golf ball. Absolutely love it. I mean, he just, just tore that thing to pieces. Outstanding tee shot. Yeah, ball sitting up. You don't have to worry about the wind or anything there. You just take a full-blooded cut at the second shot from here. Good-looking shot right here. Just a phenomenal approach shot, and now a great chance for an eagle. These putts keep the round together. Wow, Nate's eagle makes everybody else look sort of average, Frank. And look at the size of that lead on the leaderboard now. Frank, as we stand here at the fourth and look out, no mistaking where we're at. I know I'm having some lobster for dinner tonight. Or some clam chowder. The best comes from this area. Um, well, actually, for the ocean, though, anything that strays a little left off this tee will find that ocean. And believe me, there's been more than one ball hit down there. Generous fairway, that's really the goal in the tiniest of green. If you find the green, you can have a birdie putt. A very short one, indeed. Nicely played shot, about 310 yards down the fairway. This is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. That is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a formality now. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Thundering up the leaderboard, 10 under par for the tournament. What a birdie. Now the fifth hole, par four, 481 yards. Find the fairway, and it's a fairly generous one, and you should have a shot where you want a nice lofted one over that front bunker to land softly on the green.
grab the fire extinguisher, put out the, that bolt is on fire, it's melting going through the air. Nice long tee shot there and a good lie, Frank. Well, Frank, as we know, golf is not played generally on a flat surface, and here we go, uphill. Yeah, and the uphill lie is going to guarantee you more loft than normal. So you're going to have to counteract that with uh, maybe an extra club. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. How'd you like that strike? Uh, that was top of the tree. Far yesterday. Now for birdie. Pretty much doing everything right this week. 11 under for the tournament. There you have it. The second round is complete. Another solid effort put together, and it shows on the scorecard. And after two rounds, you really start to see uh, not only who's playing well, but who's consistent. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the Mid-Season Classic. Are you kidding me? Come on, you can't hit a ball that hard. That is crushing it beyond all crushing. Oh, it squeezed that one, Frank. That is the champion of the mashes. He mashed up. I don't know if that button can be used again after that. Just a superb shot. You're not going to see much better than that all day today. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this. And a great start. Now at the second hole here at Lighthouse, it's a par three, 234 yards. Difficult hole, Frank, especially when the wind picks up. It is, and uh, you can see with that bunker on the right side, that's obviously the bailout area because the problem side is to the left of this green. That's where the cliff starts to run all the way down to the ocean. This is a very difficult par three, not just because of its length, but because it's exposed to all of Maine's elements. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Terrific golf shot. And now that for an easy birdie. So coming off the birdie on the previous hole, a chance now for yet another one. And momentum all in his favor. And he has it for birdie. Frank, I like the mix of holes as we start out here at Lighthouse Point. Tough par four, then a par three, and now a scoring opportunity with a par five at the third. Scoring opportunity with a good drive. Very thin fairway here, Rich. This hole is built for accuracy, and players off the tee, they're going to have to try and hit this fairway. Long fairway bunker runs almost the entire length of this hole, 
and it could act actually as a little helper, stop you going down by the cliff, because anything left, obviously, on that cliff line will go all the way down to the ocean. Excellent start off the tee. That's a great way to begin this hole. Second shot. Frankie appears to be in control of his game in the early going. I like what I'm seeing out there, doing all the basic things at a very, very high level. Getting the ball in play, that helps set up the next shot. Next shot gets on the green, that's how it sets up the birdie putt. It's one thing leading to another. Just a couple of feet. Frank, this is the kind of start every player wants. Yeah, swinging it well. Certainly hit the ball in the right place there. And uh, that good thing, too, he's actually putting well. Fourth hole. And looking for a quality start. It's 411 yards and a par four. No fairway bunkers or bunkers really to contend with here. Cliffs to the left and also water on that side. But one of the wider fairways on this front side, made up for by a very small green. That's a good spot right there. Center cut. And now it's right in his wheelhouse. Good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. That ball's sitting up. You can bring it in high. You can bring it in low. The choice is yours. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. And getting ready for the putt. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Now at the fifth here at Lighthouse Point, to par four. Frank, what are we in store for? When you stand on this tee, Rich, you don't see any fairway bunkers, but be careful, it can certainly fool you. The goal really with the cliffs course is to find fairways. It just smokes it. He mm. <laughs> drive. Just tattooed that. Yesterday, in their close, great opportunity for another one. This for another birdie on this hole on the week.
continues to amaze yet another birdie. And what a day it's been. Frank, that front page of the leaderboard has been looking good all week. You're exactly right, Rich. Uh, I think our winner is certainly going to come from that list right now. I'm excited for tomorrow's final round. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the Mid-Season Classic. Now at the par 314, over another body of water, Frank, you could make some big numbers on this golf course. I would think if you walk out of here today having shot under par, you have to be really happy. Certainly is big boy golf playing around uh, the cliffs at Lighthouse Point, Rich. And this is another example here at this beefy par 3, 240 yards. Uh, you can see Lake Zimmer protects the front of this green and to the right. That's obviously where they get all the irrigation water from. But uh, there's enough green left of the flag here. It's really what you're going to be looking at, that front left section. Great effort right there, and a great chance to knock in that short putt. Little redemption chance here had bogey yesterday. Oh, yeah, he's made it for a birdie. The round continues at Lighthouse Point, and Frank, the 15th hole is a par four, only 387 yards. He makes a great pass at the golf ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time. Well, that's gotta be 300 yards, isn't it? Frank, uphill shot, what did you like to do on a, a play like this? The biggest thing really is to try and work on your balance. You've got to make sure you get through the shot and normally take an extra club. Well, there's a big green and they're going to use every inch of it. That's good stuff right there. Wonderful approach and now a really good look at birdie. It's the beautiful part of golf. Brand new day, new hole. Remember, he made a bogey here yesterday, this time for birdie. Well read. Time to make a move, the closing stretch here at number 16, par three, 241 yards. shot. Well, it's, uh, it's as good as it's going to get. There's going to be no worries about making that one. So a tester from four feet.
Frank, we have said it over and over. Another birdie. Now at the 17th and Frank a chance to make a birdie. Who knows, with a couple of huge pokes, you could make eagle three. This is a pretty stout hole at a little bit more than 600 yards. It is, especially if that breeze comes off the water under your face. But uh, normally you protect it here because the hills on the left will block that breeze. Um, bunkers all the way down the right side, you can see that. But yeah, you're right, two big hits and you might just reach this par five and two. Birdie, perhaps even eagle on a good day. Long and straight. That's how you do it. I mean, he just blasted it down the fairway, well over 325 yards. Nice position, short grass, second shot. Good looking shot right here. Not quite where he wanted it, but it is on the green, and that's not too bad. This is a long putt. Really, the key is the speed. If it drops, that's a bonus. Oh, that hurts. I'd be very happy with that one. Yeah, lag part, I mean, really, it's unrealistic to try and make those. So any time you can uh, two-putt from there is a good result. Par yesterday. Now for birdie. <laughs> Count that. That's a birdie. Frank, we've made it to the finishing hole. If you're having a good day, you stop and you reflect for just a moment the beauty surrounding you, how well you've played. If it hasn't gone all that well, you're thinking about jumping on the Juniata Crossway bridge off to the left and getting out of Dodge. New member of the 300-yard club. Good poke right there. This one will play a little bit longer. It's up the hill to that green. There's a bunker over there. I think he's headed for it. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with par. Ooh, what a shot right there. Beautifully done. Just a fantastic week of golf. Add that one to the win count. A lot of uh, great quality players out there and to come on top of that leaderboard is truly a great accomplishment.